What's up, Bobby? Today we are heading over to pick up Jamie Henderson. We're gonna head up to Gunnersville Lake. We're gonna target deep water for blue cats. We've had a lot of rain, so we possibly be moving shallow. We're just gonna see what happens when we get there. It is the middle of the spawn, mid-June. Everyone thinks that you can't catch fish this time of the year. We're gonna show you guys that you can successfully target blue cats even with the spawn going on. They don't all spawn at once, guys. So stay tuned in with us and hope you guys enjoy. All right, Bobby, we've made it. We've got bait. We've got a bunch of gizzards, caught a few brim and a few skipjack. We are waiting on the lock master to let us through the lock and we're gonna lock up to Gunnersville and see what the lake provides for us today. attention but all of a sudden we started hearing some noise <laughs> that's the way you like it feels better there. <laughs> he just let me know he was there. I didn't think he's very big and he, and he might not be but That's what I was waiting on guys, waiting on them bubbles. We are fishing deep. We don't want to Holy we don't want to bring them up too. He's got a bunch of bubbles. I'm gonna scoot y'all over here so maybe y'all can see this. 15 or 20 pounder. Y'all ready? He said 15 or 20. Well, 25. Oh, 25. Or bigger. I got it. I got it. You got it? Hang on, let me get to the line. Alright guys. <laughs> oh, hey, let me turn this around. Here, let me. There we go. Can y'all twisted that hook all up, son? Here it is, four o'clock in the afternoon, guys. This is a really good fish for that time of day. Solid 25, 30 pound fish. We're gonna let him go. Hang on, see right here. There we go. He's about to tear me up. Go ahead, go ahead. There he goes. There he goes to the, down to the depths. So while Jamie's cutting that up. That fish ate shad. We've got skipjack brim and shad on. He chose shad 
over a skipjack head, skipjack body, and two brim heads. That's what we're using right there. So that's what he ate. That's what we're going to put back he, he ate a He ate a uh, body part of a shaft. We're going to have to switch tactics just a little bit. We've still suspended two rods. But we've got party boaters everywhere, so we uh, ended up drifting with six rods. And look, we come into some deeper water, and I, and I didn't have it all the way down. I dropped it down and reeled up about a, about two turns off the bottom, and he nailed it. I don't think he's very big. We got a lot more current than what we were thinking. Look at that meat hunter. <laughs> He's coming up. Y'all bear with us a minute. We, ain't, we can't rush these fish out of you know, 50 to 70 foot of water. There he comes. Oh, he's decent. Flat head, no blue. I'm just gonna grip him. All right. I'm just gonna grip him, guys. A little teener. We've got boats all around us. all around us. A little teener. It's a good little teenage fish. Not too bad. Probably an under. That one just got a bite. We got we got a bite on a uh, on a planer board out here. <laughs> we got to take down on camera too, son. Oh my goodness. Oh, hey y'all, y'all see that? <laughs> we had a point up here that we were wanting to stop at. Get some baits on. Yeah, I think he, he feels like. This ain't good, y'all. This is another fun fish right there, guys. You gonna give him a kiss, Jamie? <laughs> Guys, we just had one smoke. Smoke a suspended rod. We come back to the structure pile where we caught those other two drifting and that joker got smoked. Let's go ahead and turn this. We're oh, look at that. Whoa! Pull and drag. Pull and drag. That's a 
good one, Bobby. That's the one we came for. Yeah, when you're getting down the rod holder, don't ever pinch the line like that. Yeah. If he's trying to go. Oh! Y'all see this? Wow. Look at that fresh shad. Yep. It's so crazy how on the Tennessee River this time of year, you know, skip, skipjack is our predominant bait here, and that's what a lot of us use. You're running up river. This, this time of year, don't overlook shad, guys. Do not overlook shad. Good gracious. Is he still 50 foot down? Uh, 24. He ain't showing up on the that Look. There's his there's his bubbles. That's what I'm looking for. Well y'all can't see it guys. There, see the bubbles? I think this is a good one right here. Alright, he should be should be safe to bring up. Oh, I've seen a little bit of them. Oh, guys, this is a nice one. Skinny female. Skinny female. About 35 pounds, he thinks. Y'all see it? Bobby, this is your fish. No, it don't, it's hard fish, yeah. <laughs> yeah, when he pulls this up, I'm taking a quick picture from my, my, my older brother that I live with. I want him to see this fish. And I'm just going to let Bobby hold it. I don't care where you go in the country, guys. That makes a trip worth it. Are you done? There you go. There you go. To the depths. So we've went ahead and locked through. We're fishing below Gunnersville Dam now. Um, we have a really good current break. Currents. They said it's running 40,000, but I'm thinking it's more along 70,000 uh, CFS. Uh, that's a lot of current here below Gunnersville Dam. Uh, we've shifted down about two miles below the dam. There's a really good current break right here. Uh, we're sitting in 16 foot of water. Water temp 78 degrees. And we're gonna set it out for about 20 minutes and see what happens. You got a good one on, Bobby. Yeah, you got a good one on. I told you one of these was going to get taken down, did I not? Put some pressure on him. Put the box hauled. He took some drag, though. You don't get the net. Maybe that's on a shaft. Uh. Oh, oh, he might get rod out of there. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just said, we got 10 minutes. He did. Whoa. This is a big boy. Oh, my goodness. That's a good one, Bobby. This is a toad. That's the one we come for. Ooh. I can't see how big around he is, but he looks like he's 45 he, plus. He's big around. I'll go ahead and get back there behind him. I guess hold on, I got turn. There we go, now. <laughs> Watch 
that nested. He might not be that big. He might be pushing 40. This is a pig right here, man. Every time he sees the boat. Yeah. He's big. He might be bigger than that. All right, go ahead and get the net behind him. He just don't want to give up. Nope. He's using that current. He does not want to come up. Sorry about the view, guys. I think. Hold on. I'm trying. But, oh, man, he almost, he almost went in. Bobby, he's big, big. He's big, big. He's in. He's big, big. You got it? Oh, he's big. Post farm male. He's skinny as skinny gets. Whole fin's missing on that side. His head's all wore down. He got sores all over him. Show you guys how these big old pliers work. You just open the mouth, reach right there. They got that little nipple on them. If you reach right there where the hook's going into the skin, and then you just snatch. Should be way bigger, but he's he's spawned out. That probably should be a 55 pound fish, but I doubt he's gonna weigh 45. He is skinny. One thing look, I can tell you guys. Look right here. These post-spawn males, do not stick your hand in their mouth. Their teeth are like, let's see here. It's like 60 grit sand, people. You can go ahead and see, he is skinny. Yep. So, Bobby, you gotta move that camera back. So. There he is, though. Look how up, up under his chin right there, he been Still a really good fish, though. Told y'all y'all could catch him in the spawn. He's throwing up everywhere. All right, guys, we're going to get him back. I'm going to let him revive a little bit before I just let him go. I think he's ready. There he goes. I think that is going to end the trip, guys. That was fish number six. Seven. Seven. One channel cap. That, that right there is proof. Even though they're spawning, they're not all spawning at once. That male's already come off the bed. There's plenty of fish that haven't even went on the bed yet. Don't let the spawn time... Sorry about the bugs, guys. Don't let the spawn time get you down and not want to go fishing go put some time on the water put some fish in the boat thanks for tuning in bobby we'll see you on the next one